Where should I begin? You're quite studious. How splendid. Then allow me to continue. I can understand that soldiers die during war. However, according to your story, Professor, Amlet the traitor went out of his way to kill one of the Empire's grand generals. Why did he go to such lengths? There's a reason behind his actions as well as why this grave was built as the traders had requested. It could all be seen through the actions of the princess after she had witnessed him kill the Grand General. Why don't we catch our breath? Nay, I will carry on. You mustn't push yourself too hard. Our next operation approaches. I must prove myself by then. During our first mission, I was naught but a burden. I wish for my mind to be as well honed as this blade. Only then will my soul know peace. Are you referring to the soldier you slayed? My dreams have been haunted by that moment. That, however, is because I knew so little of combat. One who mourns the death of an enemy has no place in war. Because I have declared to my people that I will continue to stand at the front lines, I cannot allow my heart to falter. They say to pity a starving, dying animal is to show great empathy. <sighs> but to show great empathy means to put yourself at risk. Wild animals do not worry for other wild animals. To them, Life is the never-ending struggle to survive, to find food. It's the same for us on the battlefield. There's no room for empathy. Tis a harsh world we live in. Indeed it is. In the palace terrace, everything looks black and white. 
That's why you picked up the sword, your highness. Because you have a responsibility, both as a citizen and as royalty. Just so. I wouldn't want you to lose your emotional investment in all this. Nor would I. Yet that is precisely why I worry about Anlet. I've pored over countless records, but there is nothing on him prior to his adoption. The lack of information on him is highly unusual. Did he share anything with you during your time at the Institute? Not at all. He never was the type to talk about his past. Huh. Perhaps I will ask the professor. Professor? Our former teacher. I am certain she would... Your Highness! Finally, I found you. Don't you know how troublesome it is when you go out without telling me where? She needed a quiet place to practice her swordsmanship. Can't get any training done with you bothering her. Had we told you, you would just follow along and pester us here. Like you're doing now. Oh, hush. <sighs> now, now, milady. Let's return to the palace. I'll train you myself, if you please. I've wielded a sword against my nagging brother many a time, so I'm confident in my skills. In fact, I'm positive your training would go better with me. Absolutely not. You never hold back. Or something to happen to the princess. I never held back against you because you're my brother. If that wasn't obvious, it's no wonder you can't find love. Despite sharing some of my good looks. <laughs> you two are thick as thieves as always. Is that how it seems? Indeed. I already envied your kinship. But the bond you both share really is something special. Huh. What kind of sibling would you wish for, Princess? A kind and caring big sister? Or a rambunctious little brother? Let me see. Either way, I certainly would be content. But if I had to choose, I'd prefer an elder brother. One on whom I could always rely. Someone like Godot, for instance. You are too kind, Princess. Oh, is that... Are you blushing? We should return to headquarters. It's nearly time to discuss our next operation. Already? I was so engaged in our practice, I suppose I lost track of the hour. Let us go then. Good day to you, Miranda. <laughs> Guess my big brother's got a soft spot after all. This is a true story. Even the young individuals who would later be branded as traitors each had a place to call their home. Freet Erikson was a columnist who earned his acclaim by often contributing to famous newspapers. His provocative pieces stimulated patriotism in people and led the citizenry of Jutland toward jingoistic tendencies.
Basil Sabanchi inherited his adoptive father's company and factory. Through hard work, he solidified his position in the Ragnite industry and used his resources to support Jutland's forces. Violet Sand was in military intelligence, although no detailed records of her remain. She had infiltrated and gathered intel on not only the Ruzi Empire, but various other world powers all by herself. The facts surrounding her only came to light in recent years due to more in-depth investigation and research techniques. Solomon Kallenberg, a prominent member of Jutland's parliament, was said to be the brains behind the traitors. A capable and elegant man from an affluent family, his reputation was renowned in political and social circles. He thrust himself into politics, suppressed the non-radical factions of parliament, and allowed the war to continue. Hamlet Gronkir's facade is well documented through his victorious achievements during the war. The young hero who led the anti-Valkyria squad. Without him, the Liberation War would not have been won. As you can see, they all have different facets. Knowing each one will bring us closer to the truth behind the traitors. Welcome. Have a good one. Come on in. Anytime.
Hey, Captain. <laughs> My word. Pardon? <sighs> hey, Captain. Terribly sorry. Well done. What's the matter? My apologies. Yeah. What's the matter?
pretty good, yeah? Pretty good, yeah? See ya. <laughs> what's the matter? Oh, what's this? We've got a new assignment. Up details are as follows. That is all.
wonderful. Incoming enemy! Giant because of those rocks! Right beside you. Hey, Captain.
Hey, Captain. Hmm? What is it? Hey, Captain. How are you? Come on in. Come back anytime. Our next mission is to seize the Ruse Viceroy office in Ipsiria. The anti-Valkyria squad will provide a distraction, drawing the enemy forces away from Jutland's main army. Should the enemy barricade themselves, we'll join the main army, surround the city, and overwhelm the Viceroy's office. Either we annihilate their troops or force them to retreat. Regardless, the Ruse threat leaves Ipsiria. So we drive the Empire from their domain, placing the country back in the hands of its citizens. And then? I don't care what comes after. Perhaps you should. I worry for the Apsarian people, and the long-term consequences of our victory. We haven't won yet. You know that, right? Of course. Though I must ask you, as a squad mate and friend, have you considered what we leave in the battle's wake? Here we go again. I beg your pardon? You always get ahead of yourself. Must you even take issue with my forethought? In war, the only thing that matters is the enemy in front of you. Distractions lead to death. Get that through your head. Oh, well, I never. I should say the distracted one. Please, princess, calm down. G Godot! My apologies. 
It would seem I'm behaving improperly again. Is this going to happen every time they're in the same room? Pish posh. Enough of this plebeian poppycock. I shan't name any names, but the fish rots from the head. Perhaps we need a new captain, a true leader, like myself. I thought I'd never get used to seeing a lover's spat, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. I guess it's a bit like our unit's tradition. Ah, I can see it. That's a fitting description, First Sergeant. I swear, you two are never serious. Ew, no girl's gonna go for some mean old man. Get a clue, you two. Uh. <laughs> I rescind my previous statement. Well, let's be more serious then. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Bridget? I don't care either way. Just do what you want. I don't know, you still look pretty pissed. You're scratching your face so hard it's making new forehead wrinkles. Don't come crying to me again if you can't get rid of them this time. <gasps> Wait, crying again? As in, you've watched Miss Bridget weep? Frailty, thy name is woman. <laughs> Maybe you should just drop it, Isaac. Methinks the ladies doth protest too much. That is all. They haven't decided when the op will commence, but count on it starting sooner than later. Prep accordingly. Dismissed. Need something? What's the matter? Well done. Seems that way.
What's the matter? Need something? We've got a new assignment. Up details are as follows. That is all. Let's do this! Intercept the enemy! Allow yeah, me shoot. to assist you! I'm Power with you! Comes from within. Who's next?
Commander neutralized. Allow me to assist you. I'm not going to score to the ground. That won't work. All right. What's the matter? We've got a new assignment. Well done. Well done. Op details are as follows. That's all. Fa October, 1853. The Jutland army departed to attack the Ruzi Empire, who was controlling Ipsaria. Ipsaria was a point of strategic importance to both sides. More than half the land is covered with mountains rich with ragnite veins, giving a great many people work in the mines. Your Highness? I am all right, Gado. All units, commence operation. Let's do this! Incoming enemy! Intercept the enemy! Let's end this! 
Who's next? But I don't wanna! In the name of Jutland! The tides are turning! Keep an eye on them! Who's next? Yep, let's go! It's hardly even a warm-up. Commander down! Next! Be mindful. Intercept the enemy! Let's end this! Commander down! I'll give it my all! In the name of Jutland! Rest in peace! Get lost! <laughs> Who's next? Commander down!
Commander down. Yep, let's I'll go. I'll give it my all. In the name of ah! Jumpin. Break through. The fruits of our labor, yes? Point. Rest in peace. Reinforcements. We keep going, and neutralize the Viceroy office. Tell by his glare. There's no trace of intelligence. He has the eyes of a beast. Come now. One pup does not a wolf pack make. Bearing your fangs at an apex predator like me isn't bravery, it's buffoonery. Isaac, you're an idiot. But you got a point. Something smells fishy here. Maybe it's a trap. Like a decoy. Or an ambush. Who cares? Let's do this, Jordan! Victory goes to those who are first to strike first, Sergeant. Hmm. Hey, that's Ragnite Glow. He has a mana-powered prosthesis. of you. Keep going. Finish the mission. That arm. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? I have no obligation to answer you. <laughs> this will not go as you planned. Eye on them. Yep, let's go. In the name of justice. Hey, you know. Think so. 
such swordsmanship existed even in Jutland. You 
ready? Out of my way! You okay? Are you not Prince Laertes? Heir to the throne of Ipsaria? Huh? <clears throat> wow. Awesome. He was tougher than the tank. The prince? Yes. At first I feared my memory failed me, but there is no doubt left in my mind. The eyes are a window to the soul, and a gaze that fierce could only have belonged to Prince Laertes. A member of the Crimeus royal family survived. But why would he attack us? And that prosthesis? Something's not right. I've read about a procedure in which a body's capabilities are alchemically augmented and even surpassed by Ragnite. A mana-enhanced human. Ew. And here I thought he was kinda cute. <sighs> we can validate the facts later. We need to prioritize the operation first. group just give it up and be obliterated already looks like a last-ditch effort Amlet! captain well now's as good a time as any all right everyone keep up with the captain good to see the captain still alive and kicking the enemy's ass
take this! Commander down! Jutland. Looks clear. I think we're finished for now. Provided everything went according to plan, the main army should be winding down as well. Of course, there could be more troops on the outskirts. Should we try to draw them out? No, no. We should stay right here. Strategically speaking. Regardless, the residents will come out when the battle concludes. It'll be fine if we're welcomed with open arms. But it'll be a hassle if they put up a resistance. If that happens, I will persuade them myself. Once we convey our intentions openly and earnestly, they shall understand. If we can do that, I believe they'll accept us. And Jutland. Yup, yup! I'm sure Fifi can do it. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeezy. I'll help too. Why are you being so competitive? I don't see the point. <sighs> We could use all the Hans we can get. Captain Gronkair! Runner Nielsen reporting. Our army engaged a large enemy unit on the outskirts of Ipsaria and has defeated them. The Ruzi forces broke formation and have begun retreating. Our troops are entering the city right now. Inform the commanding officer that Vanergan's taken the Viceroy office and secured the area. They may encounter some residual enemy forces scattered across the city, but should rendezvous with us immediately. And be sure to show the citizens some care. We're here to free them from the Empire's oppression, after all. We cannot tread on their honor and dignity as Ruse has. These orders come directly from Princess Ophelia herself. Yes, sir. I'll definitely relay that. I swear on my life. I trust you will. Hans, a moment. Sir? The main force. How many did we lose? I don't know the details, but the commanding officer himself said the death toll is far below estimates. The commander is calling this operation a decisive victory. 
We've won, and with minimal casualties. <laughs> um, is something wrong, Captain? No, nothing. Thank you, Hans. Yes, sir. I'll be taking my leave now. Is something the matter, Bridget? N no, nothing at all. Oh, our job's finally done. <laughs> I could use a drink. What do you say, Jordan? Drinking until dawn doesn't count as a drink, First Sergeant. Ah, I can see it now in my mind's eye. Me, surrounded by doting Ipsarian damsels, the epitome of prestige and popularity. Yeah, in your dreams. Hey, wait! The captain hasn't dismissed us yet. Come on! Hurry up, Fifi!
Hello folks, welcome. Thank you for watching this presentation of Valkyrie Revolution Join us tomorrow as we do Fight Night Friday. Make sure you stay cool. We will continue with our local characters for Taken 7. And we will start with Kingdom of Fighters 13. Uh, and then don't forget to join us for a special, very special Saturday morning edition of our stream at 11 o'clock. That's 11 o'clock this upcoming Saturday. So, for all of us here again at the PlayStation side, guys, let's play. This is no way from my station district 4. We will see you guys tomorrow for fight night and Saturday morning for a special stream. Until then, 